What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA Saga. And for today's video guys, I have a set of very interesting news. First of all, I will show you that FINRA and SEC at the very end of January asked at least one of uh, broker dealers uh, in regards to next bridge hydrocarbons and MMTLP issue. Then I will show you how we can uh, improve our position, how we can uh, reach much broader audience uh, in order to push our case forward. Then I will show you my personal video that I made uh, on December the 7th of 2022 where I explained in details uh, and uh, where I predicted the upcoming uh, actions around uh, MMTLP and NextBridge Hydrocarbon shares. And at the end of this video I will show you my personal story. And I highly encourage you to watch this video till the very end, because it is very important for me personally. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, Guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It is the easiest way how we can uh, promote uh, this video through the YouTube algorithm. And uh, definitely, the more people know about our story, the more chances we have uh, to win this battle. That is why just hit the like button. So, let's start with this news. Uh, Kristen Shaughnessy just several hours ago made this tweet uh, and she wrote, MMTLP, FIF uh, seems to be very concerned about this. Could uh, it be worried uh, some of uh, its members have a very large unsettled short position? And she refers uh, to the letter that was uh, published uh, on a financial information forum uh, on their official website. And here is uh, this uh, information in details. And it says, SEC and finger examination requests relating to next bridge hydrocarbons and metamaterials. During the week of January 22 of 2024, an uh, FIF member received document requests from the SEC and FINRA examination groups relating to the next bridge hydrocarbons and metamaterials reorganization. The FIF member is interested to know if other FIF members uh, have received similar document requests. Please send any responses uh, to fifinfo at fif.com. FIF will update all members that respond on the number of firms uh, that have received inquiries. FIF will maintain uh, the, uh, the anonymity of all responses. And guys, uh, as you can see, this is the official statement uh, uh, that uh, at least uh, one broker dealer received an inquiry uh, in regards to next breach uh, hydrocarbons and metamaterials reorganization. And we don't know any more information in regards to this case. On top of that, let me show you what uh, uh, is this forum about. About FIF. FIF is an industry trade group comprised uh, of over 100 broker-dealers, exchanges and financial technology vendors. Established uh, in 1996, FIF seeks uh, to address and resolve open implementation issues that impact the securities industry across the order life cycle. And uh, I have to say that uh, it is quite interesting organization and uh, unfortunately if you try to search uh, uh, for example next bridge hydrocarbons uh, on their website you will find only the news that I just read to you. Here you can see uh, this uh, news. And if you try to search MMTLP ticker symbol, you will not find any information in regards to this case. And definitely it is quite weird because uh, we have a close relationships in between NextBridge Hydrocarbons and MMTLP. And uh, we don't know what is the reason of uh, this inquiry. But at the same time, guys, uh, potentially it might be the result uh, of uh, the letter that was prepared by Ralph Norman's office uh, back in December of uh, 2023, as you can see. This letter was signed by more than 74 Congress members back in December. And uh, definitely this uh, inquiry might be the result of uh, this letter, because uh, at the very end of January, uh, FINRA responded to this letter. Definitely this response uh, was quite miserable. And uh, on uh, February the 6th, I guess somewhere a week uh, after the deadline, 
uh, SEC answer to the same letter, but this uh, answer was 100% uh, pathetic. So, let me show you another quite interesting uh, information in regards to media sources that we can use in order to push our case forward. Uh, when I was working uh, to prepare this uh, video, I found uh, this tweet uh, from uh, the Plan Bagel, and uh, the Plan Bagel wrote, any request for my next video topic? And uh, I started to dig deeper, and I don't know who uh, was uh, this uh, person, and I found out that he has uh, a YouTube channel that has uh, more than 888,000 subscribers, and all of uh, his videos uh, collected uh, more than uh, 200, vid uh, 200 views. And uh, let me show you some details uh, about this channel. Investing in personal finance educational videos uh, with a hint of economics uh, posted regularly. I am a CFA and CFP professional working as an analyst uh, for an investment management company in Ottawa. I am a huge uh, finance nerd and I am uh, passionate about uh, the field. I think people lack the resources they need to make uh, educated financial decisions. And hopefully this channel helps uh, with that. And guys, let me show you some uh, tweets uh, in response uh, to this uh, question. Uh, for example, right here. You can see that uh, First Castle on the left uh, wrote this 12 hours ago. Police report on this. FINRA modified uh, MMTLP corporate action without authority from the company to intentionally create a settlement issue. FINRA then halted trading claiming a settlement issue for the benefit of uh, their own self-interest. Days halted. 493 and still counting. On top of that, guys, we have even more tweets from community members uh, with uh, the same uh, mention. Examine MMTLP. We are awaiting a congressional hearing date. It is not a stock. It is a dividend placeholder traded without the company's permission. That will reveal how many shares are outstanding as 65,000 uh, families have been trapped since December uh, of 2022 when FINRA imposed a U3 halt. And we have a huge number of uh, the same uh, tweets, uh, pretty much uh, on the same topic. And definitely, guys, uh, please uh, contact the plain bagel and ask him to make uh, the video in regards to our case. Uh, it is a very good opportunity for us uh, to spread this information to his audience as well. And definitely, the more people know about uh, our case, the more chances we have to win this battle. That is why, guys, use this uh, path uh, to help the community and definitely it might be very important for us. So, uh, next one. Let me show you that we don't have uh, so many dates uh, when Congress uh, might uh, schedule our hearings. Uh, the bagel man uh, wrote this. Uh, the rest of uh, the April Congressional calendar schedule. Uh, 16th to 18th uh, both, uh, 19th Senate only. 22nd and 26th, uh, both local districts. 29th to 30th, both in sessions. Uh, day 494, 16 months. We can do this. And definitely this uh, might be very important for us. Uh, and guys, if you don't know what to do in regards to help the MTLP community, the second call to action, but the most important one, in my opinion, is this one. We have uh, to call our congressman's office uh, and ask uh, our representatives to contact James Commerce office to express support for an MMTLP congressional hearing. And this is the crucial part. We still have uh, a lot of uh, members, a lot of community members who are consistently doing this uh, call to action, who are consistently trying to reach uh, uh, the congressman people and uh, who are trying to push our case forward. And in my opinion, it is the most uh, important uh, uh, way how we can solve our problem for now. And uh, I hope uh, this will lead us to the resolution. On top of that, uh, let me show you that uh, Glass Guy made a set of tweets uh, and he asked very important and interesting questions. Let me just quote you them one by one. Uh, he wrote, uh, he started to write this uh, five hours ago. Nobody spends uh, this much time trying to get us uh, to fear a stock we can't sell. Know what you hold, they do. And uh, let me go to this screenshot. They bought our shares, they took our money. They need to buy them back, we decide their worth. And it uh, scares the crap out of them. Why do you think they are holding spaces trying to convince you to uh, the land is worthless? 
Uh, next one, next set of uh, questions. Davis wants uh, you to start questioning management. The only question we want answered is why did Finra break their own rules? Writing the corporate action, revising the corporate action, halting the corporate action, uh, disregarding a rule to protect shareholders. Next uh, set of questions. Hey Congress, if you didn't want the answers, why did you ask the question? And this is a very important question because yes, why in the world uh, they write uh, this uh, letter and they sign this letter if they don't want uh, to see uh, any answers. It doesn't make sense in my opinion. It's time for a hearing. We deserve answers. They ignored their own rules designed to protect us. The share count will tell us why. If your stock is worthless, why are you here? Yes, uh, I 100% agree. Why are you here? Next one, if they didn't think they ever need to cover, why did they want multiple times the 2.65 million? And uh, we know that uh, overseas uh, brokerages uh, asked the next bridge hydrocarbons uh, management uh, to uh, give uh, them uh, the additional number of shares to cover their short position. And it is a pure evidence uh, that the short position is uh, still on the table on the privately held company. And uh, no one, no one from authority side, uh, no one want to solve this problem at all. Next one. Why wasn't a REC SHO enforced? And yes, uh, I think it is a pure violation of REC SHO and the REC SHO is the way how uh, the wrongdoers uh, might have a real sentences in prison. And guys, let me show you further. You know that uh, uh, we have a lot of Congress members on our side. Uh, Duke wrote this uh, tweet uh, just, uh, I guess, uh, yesterday. And let me show you this in details. He said, Ralph Norman said specifically in Dennis Neal's uh, podcast, hearings. Dennis asked uh, for subpoena. Ralph was open to that, but he prioritized uh, hearing. I'll post uh, the cover video again. We want uh, to give them all the opportunity to come forward first. Then subpoenas come. And yes, uh, Ralph Norman is definitely the person who is uh, for 100% on our side. But we have uh, to uh, attract more Congress members uh, on our side in order to push this case forward to the James Commerce office in order to uh, first of all have a hearings and then to have a subpoena. So let me show you another quite interesting and important uh, news. Uh, one of community members uh, DM'd me just recently and he asked uh, about uh, uh, my story uh, on MMTLP saga. And uh, this uh, leads me to uh, revise uh, all the videos that I made uh, on this topic. And guys, I found quite interesting video that I made uh, on December the 7th of uh, 2022, right before the U3 halt. And uh, this uh, video uh, is titled Metamaterials Clarification on MML MMTLP. The only MMTLP video you need to see before December the 12th. And guys, uh, you will find the link uh, on this video in the description below or on your top right corner. And uh, I have to say that in this video, I basically uh, made a very thorough uh, forecast uh, for this asset and I told you that you should be very careful with any position on MMTLP and I explained in details what might be the consequences of uh, this uh, position and uh, in which direction the price uh, might go. And I have to admit that uh, for now I can see that I was 100% correct. Watch this video if you want to know my thoughts in regards to this case uh, back uh, in the beginning of December of 2022. Hopefully this video helped uh, at least uh, to some of uh, MMTLP holders uh, back in December of 2022. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. 
Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack